Archimedes and the Survival of the Fittest. Archimedes. I put the me in Archimedes. Or is it just I? Since that is the special name I gave him when I met my new special edition in April. My mini poodle. My mini Archimedes. Named after the Greek scientist, so everyone can stop asking me if he was named after a Greek mythological figure. You keep thinking Achilles, the figure Brad Pitt portrayed in the 2004 film Troy, since he did accidentally hurt his own Achilles heel on set during that time. Believe me, I know, and love my Greek mythology. Like those myths in which you said to believe every word in that fictitious book you call a Bible. That you should never take the gospel. Because it never served a purpose in the beginning of mankind. So ask yourself, who were the first people ever said to you, knowledge is power? It was our teachers. And the teachers who taught before them. You see that when it comes to early times of our survival instincts, we had to use what was available around us hundreds of thousands of years ago by using the thought process during the time of the Neanderthals. That is the early stages of evolution, especially when there came a time for us to stand upright and face the food chain, the big fish eating the little fish. That's a sign of life that thrives, just so you don't have to feel so uptight. When the smartest and the strongest survive, why contribute to veganism then? Veganism is a choice and a right, but it doesn't make a difference when we're all hunting and gathering as cavemen 10,000 BC. You can save the planet without having to be vegan. Since we all have our own choices of where we gather our proteins, vitamins, and minerals from the food we eat to our satisfaction. The only way we can make things right is when we contribute to lowering our carbon footprints, pollute less, ridding of not only toxic GHGs but also allergens. Urging Congress to make cleaner choice to make cleaner, worthwhile, environmentally safe policies, and demanding clean energy sources such as wind and solar, since we have depended on the sun for hundreds or thousands of years to provide safe agriculture, crop fields, plant life, pH balance in our oceans, ocean life, reptilian life, steam engines, and provided heat. An Archimedes reflecting mirror that burned enemy ships. Not to mention how we first started to write letters to form words on paper for the first time. Yes, from Sumerian to early Greek times, and then from the early Greeks to Greco-Roman and Times New Roman because it's stored because it is stored in every computer as a font in history to back it up where the religious tend to keep themselves blind bonding with more of the blind and never accepting that the first number in ancient Sumerian was zero but we continue with Greek letters that inspire us in calculus and algebra. Thank you, thank Euclid or Pythagoras, I think. Later mankind was able to be remarkable during the Roman times. That gave us inspiration in Roman numerals. So we can keep track of all the Super Bowls ever since 1967. But the Roman calendar wasn't all that bad. Overall, let's thank the most important part of man that discovered invented, ventured, persevered, found, and start portraying our part by keeping it preserved.